Hi guys, welcome to another lesson. Today we'll be learning This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. A very, very powerful song, but very sweet as well. Uh, as always, we'll have fingering right there. And let's get into it. So, good news for this song. A lot of it is on the tape. So, number one, number two, number three, number four. Except the G3. G3 is high. But I think there's only one or two G3s so there, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, so I'll play it, and then you follow along, and then if you have questions, just rewind that, okay? That's the high G3 I was talking about. Second line. Here you want to bounce. So whenever there is a line, you want to hold that out, okay? Moving on. Beat that. Uh, you might be asking why did I choose to uh, write down four? On, um, instead of because it's good to not cross the string if possible so um, if you see there it's D2 A1 A0 to A1 uh, that one is okay to do A0 because you're going there so it's gonna be doing A1 anyway so it's better to do A0 so it's better that way instead of because you're gonna have to string cross. So if you're going there, you string cross. If you're not going there, try to stay in the same string. Okay. Beat that. be asking why didn't I do this? You could do it that way. But uh, open string to open string in this case kind of gives them a little bright sound. So I give you, you know, i leave it up to you. You can do 0, 4, 2, or 0, 0, 2. Whichever you want. All right? Moving on. So that was this is me. Okay, moving on to oh. Hold that out. So that was all like first verse and first chorus. Okay, let's move on to the second verse. The second verse is meant to be more powerful in this song. So I would suggest that uh, you use more bow and then you use a little bit of pressure into the string. comes a little like a background singer saying we are warriors or something like that then he comes back to solo part okay so let me play that from the beginning of the first uh, beginning of the second chorus Okay, 
Now the next part, you want to bounce that again. Make sure you're kind of bridging the E1 to A1 already, because you won't have time to do this. See what I'm saying? So. And then the next one, you don't need to do that, because the, you got to be ending up on the A0. chorus. Repeat that. Okay, and then bridge the A3 to E3. Let's play the F in the octave below. Below again. Alright, so that's the song. Uh, not too bad, right? That echo part at the end, uh, I wrote, and you don't have to do that if you don't want. The background music will already be in the echo part. So, again, it's really fun to play this with the karaoke track. I recommend the uh, one by uh, Sing to Piano. I will have the link below. And then you kind of play along. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, also, I have the recording of this on my performance channel, so please go check that out. Uh, so, next song will be, uh, I think I will do Jurassic Park. So, until then, please like, subscribe, and